on the matter of human resources for health, Jamaica continues to champion the cause and the concerns by small island developing states, Jamaica being a primary one in the Caribbean, um, for a reformed approach to managing our human resources for health. Um, the reality is we can't train health workers fast enough for them not to be recruited or for them to migrate normally to the United States, but to Canada and the UK. Um, this is because there's a global shortage. So we have been saying in these halls that more needs to be done around collaboration and that collaboration must address the bottlenecks, which includes things like clinical rotation space and faculty. And uh, what we're coming out, out of these discussions with are the possibilities of MOUs being signed between countries to coordinate around training. As you know, we're building out a lot of infrastructure in Jamaica, hospitals and health centers. We're adding more services to these facilities. And what that means is that we need more people. And one of the large, the big risks that we face is that we won't have the people to man these facilities when we're completed. So right now we're involved with conversations with countries like the Philippines, Nigeria, um, exploring some possibilities with India. Um, but right here in the U.S. where PAHO is located and in the, in the Americas, we're talking to our colleagues where they have excess capacity, whether in clinical rotation or faculty, to see what kind of exchanges can take place. We can't stop the mobility of labor, but we can certainly coordinate to expand what is available. And as you know, we have been advocating for the possibility of a flexi contract to provide persons going back and forth to at least fill some of the voids that we have. So a big part of the conversation here, a big agenda item for Jamaica, and we're championing it right here at PAHO in Washington, D.C.